happy Sunday. I haven't vlogged today. I'm so sorry. But I didn't make it to church. It just didn't happen. And then we went to lunch. My son came to town. My teenager was with him last night, so they came and we all went to lunch. It was very nice. And then we came home and I just kind of like crashed. You know when you have a big meal and you're just like, where's the bed? <laughs> I gotta lay down. So I've been doing laundry and it's in the 80s. It's gonna be in the 80s for several days. So I cut the air conditioning on. I can't take the heat this early in the season. I started a Goodbye Vitamin by Rachel Kong. Is that how you say it? It's pretty good, super short. This one I heard about on a book podcast uh, last week, the week before. Pretty good. And it's written in almost like a diary format. It's about this woman, she's I think 30, and she goes home uh, to help her mother take care of her dad who has Alzheimer's. And there's humor in the honesty of life in this one. So I'm enjoying it. And it's the writing is super fast paced. And I seem to be in that kind of a, a genre where I enjoy hearing about others, other people's life stories, their um, struggles and triumphs over, you know, things. So that's what I've been doing. Not much. <laughs> having a good hair day I find that when I have a good hair day I don't want to do anything <laughs> because I don't want to mess it up anyway I hope you've had a good weekend I don't want tomorrow to start because again it will be hot I think it'll be hotter tomorrow like 85 and there's work we got to go and do that whole thing again Anyway, and I've got to go to the grocery store because I didn't go. I usually go on Sunday afternoons. I went yesterday. At some point, my husband and I went to the store. I got a couple things, but I need a few other things. And also, I'm out of my hazelnut skinny syrup. I've had no coffee today. I am running on Diet Coke caffeine, which is good, <laughs> but I missed my coffee. So I need to get that syrup at the store, which is like eight bucks a bottle, which is ridiculous, but I have to get it. So I'm on page 110 of Goodbye Vitamin, and I really like it. I thought I actually would finish it tonight, but even though it's a small book, it packs a punch, so I'll finish it tomorrow. But Ruth is 30 years old, like I said earlier in the clip, and she is home taking care of her dad, helping her mom out. He has Alzheimer's. He I think what I especially like about this book is how I can relate to the father-daughter relationship, even though the father depicted in this book is not like my dad. But this father has an illness, and he at times is resisting the help from the daughter, and that happened in my case, you know, my dad had kidney disease and there were times when I would help or be talking with him or something and he kind of just wanted to not talk about it or not have me help him. When someone goes through a hard time, it's how they're coping and then if they have someone entering in and trying to shepherd them through a situation, you know, they're not going to be receptive to it. 100% all the time and of course parent child where it's flipped and the, the child is now taking care of the parent and and helping it's clearly a mind shift the father you know tries to keep in control and and you know remind himself and his daughter that he's okay you know he's got this he remembers this with my dad I was trying to get him to understand the importance of continuing the dialysis and going to do it on a regular basis. And, you know, he knew it. He didn't want to be reminded of it. So I think that the basis of the book is comforting in a way because it connects me to the story and it also fosters memories of mine of childhood and growing up and and such with my dad as she's relating in the writing she talks about her father so 
I'm really enjoying it. I've been thinking about my dad a lot this weekend. And one thing that is such a standout about him, he was always there for me. He was always there. If I had a problem, be it financial or automotive or just life problems. He was always available and I think it's hard on people when they don't have someone who is that support. I know that I knew it all my life that he was there for me and he would be there for me, you know, maybe not supporting in, uh, in certain areas, but where it extremely mattered, he was always hands-on and helpful. And I'm really grateful that I had that. And I hope that he knew that I really appreciated it. So I've got to get to bed. I've got to work tomorrow. So see you then.